So today I'm going to have a look at this uh, Gladstone bag that I picked up and it's uh, the leather is in a pretty poor state and it's very very dirty as you can see it's probably been sitting in someone's shed or garage for, for a while if I can uh, see what the uh, inside is like as well you can see daylight through there so maybe a, a different different lining we can put in there but first job luckily the handles not so bad but the first job is to give it a damn good clean and what I'm using to clean is uh, this uh, it's a uh, saddle leather soap so I picked it up at uh, the local equestrian store and we'll use that see how it goes on so the beauty of this stuff is that uh, you just damp the the rat uh, the sponge in it so you can see and then you start actually just gently cleaning the leather, trying to get into all the little bits and pieces. And you see the the muck that's uh, coming off. Of this bag. Once it's cleaned, then we give it a uh, a treatment, a, a food treatment, which is uh, a mixture of kind of oils and wax. I can show you that on the next run. But yeah, look at the muck on this. Lynn loves me when I do stuff like this in her kitchen. That's what the kitchen's for. Not. I think this is going to need more than just one clean before I uh, start looking at the other stuff. But it is coming up quite nice. I think you can actually see, see the difference. I'll show you that side as opposed to that side and you can see the muck anyway I'm going to carry on with this and uh, show you a bit more later so here we go I've cleaned the bag as best I can you can kind of see bits where it's worn it's actually shown up some of the bits so now it needs a bit of feeding so I'm going to give it a feeding as I'm going away on vacation so if I give it a good good feeding now it can sit for a couple of weeks or a week while we're away so I'm actually using this leather balm and uh, oh, I got this years ago and I use it for uh, my motorcycle leathers and I have my bike awesome for that and uh, so it would be perfect for this job. So it just looks, just looks like, actually it looks like Vaseline. It feels like Vaseline as well. And it's just a question of taking it and getting it into the leather. should see actually once once you do this you'll see that the leather really becomes supple again as opposed to this version of leather which is like cardboard so 
as you can see I'm, I'm not being stingy with it I'm giving it a good good coating because I know that it will actually just sink in to the leather massage it in I used to do my leathers, motorcycle leathers this is great stuff because it also waterproof your leathers well I ever went out in the rain because I used to be frightened of the going out in the rain well not frightened, I just didn't like getting wet so I won't sit there and let you watch the whole of me feeding this bag so I'll say goodbye now and uh, come back to you later